。えー、っと、風というのは吹いてくる。風のこと。Uh, the wind, the kaze is the thing that the wind that blow, right? Is it the thing that is it the wind that blow? Um, kaze ni wa shochu atatte ik ik iru kedo hikute do you. どういうこと風にはちょうそうちゅうあったってい,いるけど、um, The wind The wind all the time blows and hits me or the wind hits all the time but Uh, regarding the hiku, as for the hiku, what is that? What is that thing? Do you koto? Hi. What do you mean by it? Is how I translate do you koto. Because what it、Hi. is, you wouldn't need a koto then, because you could just like to you no w a or something like that. I don't know what you'd use exactly, but koto insinuates like you're doing a generic thing. So ataru does mean to hit,、um, but they're meaning it more like to be in contact. Like to be touching it. So if you、Hi. hit something, it's just kind of like a,、uh, an effect to that.、Um, so, it, like, so if you touch it, you've hit it, basically. It has that like link together. So if you want to specifically say it like punches you, for example, we got that na guru, for example,、um, things like that. So ataru definitely does mean、um, hit. Sorry, this thing just like scooted itself.、Uh, Hi. I guess it's readable. Yeah, it's yeah. readable, but it looks weird now. But yeah.、Um, In contact with. I thought that. Hi. Oboe ga nai no de kubi o yoko ni futta. Because I cannot recall, I shook my head. o m a e wa hara ga itta. くならんのかけりは、熱は、you,、uh, you, as for you, you never had a stomach pain,、um, a diarrhea, a fever. Perfect. ならんのかないよ。No. グアイグアイがわくなったことが一度もないというのかグアイがグアイ the state of health はいあわるわるくなったことが、一度もないというか。とゆえんわるか。To, to say that I have not once had a bad health. Exactly. To, The same、Stated、one has never had, had bad health. Hi. Hi. Okay, so, so, nobody is saying that the thing that you said that you have not once had a bad health. Kind so, of. The no here doesn't have to be the thing that you said. The no here could be. What that would mean. What would it mean for someone to never have gotten sick in their whole life? That meaning of that, like, for example, you still told me yesterday about demigods and stuff. So, a demigod is something that would have never once ever had a stomach ache.
as like huh. an example. Um, I would say the no is more like that. Like, what would the meaning be if you're to translate? Like, what would that mean if you've never ever had unhealthy body conditions? And hopefully, you've ever never been yeah. sick. Basically, what does that mean? So. I see it. It 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 had that connotation because of this ka. It's a no ka. No ka. Like, what is that? So so hi. So sore wa miyu. Miyo. That means strange. Sore wa miyu da na. That is strange. Miyo. Uh, jitsu ni. In fact, ki miyo. Very peculiar. That is strange, huh? Odd. Truly strange. Truly strange. Ki ki miyo da. Nebri wa cup wo oita. Kozo. Kochi koi. Kochi ni koi. Nebri placed down his cup and he say, Come here. Perfect. Machutsu no dogu wo fumana yoni. So as not to step on the magical tools. Kiyotsuke nagara. I pay attention, and as I do this, chirakata. Heya o mata skite. I cross one more time the room that was scattered about, or here in this case, it's a clutter. Yes. Like, Hi. A cluttered room, a disordered room. And nobody know my name. I come to a stop. Where? Where well, comes I? I stand in front of nobody. Perfect. Nobody know my. Nobody wa he causes kasete causative Sumu is to bend causes me to bend in what kind of way or to look down hi utsumu kasete utsumu kasete that's the first action. The second action is kamio shirabe. He searches. He searches my hair. He searches through my hair. Then he say, "Shirami wa inai na no lies, ha huh? to hitori goto o ita." Hitori goto is to speak to oneself. Hi. Goto from kotoba. Yep. Hori is mean by oneself. Basically, yeah. Ita, it means some isolation specifically is the meaning of it. Hi. Wakata. Hmm. Perfect. Um, do you know what ipo meant? Four, one step. Perfect. So let's go read the next line. Hi. Ore wa ippo shika shika gata. Good guess. So shita is how that kind of can be ga... rude. But it's not shita gata. That is not a verb. Uh, 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 it, it, it's, it's the um, sagata. Hi. Ippo sagatta. Nebri ga ore o chiro chiro to miru. Chiro chiro is fixedly, fixation, a fixed look, an unblinking look. Fix was a great way of putting it. 
Oreo, he look at me fixedly. What did what did I do um uh before he did that? What do you want? I, I, got that. I one step back. I take yep, one I take a step back. Perfect. Back. Um, do you remember how to read this word? Here it say asa shokudai. Close. No, close. It's not, uh, it, it, chou shokudai. Hi. Chou shokudai. Perfect. And how about copper coins? Copper coin. Do ka. Perfect. You know what shikata nai means? Sometimes you'll hear a ga added to it. Shikata ga nai. Shikata nai. The name. No, no solution. Hi. Yeah, there's nothing Something you can like do that. about it. Yep. Shikata nai. So this is um dero, which is the same thing I told you a little bit ago about how it's a Basically, a compound word combining daro with aru, or in this case, de aru, um, to basically mean it seems like. This is specifically used um, when you're making an assumption about another human being, the person you're talking to. So it's like I say, like, aren't you doing blank type of word? De aro. De aro. Aren't you? Yep. Aren't you? I see. Aren't you? Aren't you? I, so here he say, Kozo, young boy, Asa shoku wa. No, I'm sorry. Cho shoku wa. Do suru no ka? Ki, ki ni natte shikata nai no de aro. Bo, bo, boy. As for breakfast, do suru no ka, what should we do? What should we do or what would you do about breakfast? It's, I don't know. It's not specifically mentioned. It says what to do. That, that all it is. Who? Doesn't matter. Um, in general, he's talking. He's not. He's just saying like what to have for breakfast, you know, like um, since he's talking about he's talking about the boy in the sentence, right? Because it ends with at all, which is why it's very useful to finish a sentence if you want to know who we're talking about. Um, but in itself, it could be either. He could be say, boy, we have no idea what we want to do for breakfast. But kininate would be weird thing to describe himself with, and the shikataganai as well, like in this context, would be odd. Um, so that's why we can assume it's not um, that. So that means this right here with the ka, ka marks something called an embedded clause. Um, normally for questions. This right here is doesn't have a comma and then it's a new clause because there's a ka after it. Ka means that this is like, it's a lot like a quotation to, right? If you saw a quotation to, you wouldn't just stop there and read the whole thing before it. You want to go look for the verb that the quotation to is marking, right? Like if I said like, konnichiwa to ita, you wouldn't stop at konnichiwa. You would continue when you see to. You'd want to get the ita part to say, oh, they said konnichiwa. Hi. So this question is what the kozo is kininatte about. Mm. That's why you call it embedded. It's Hi. embedded into an, the, um, it embedded in between kozo. Hey. And kini not that. Hey. It's like a sandwich it with is. the like bologna in the middle. Hey. So the important part could it is kozo. Kini not that. Kini hey. not that what? Chosoku wa do suru no ka. So to pay attention to is the first action. Then he say, shikata nai no de aro. 
they are all is shouldn't there be aren't you aren't you aren't you nothing to do aren't you close so you write that chikata, no. chikata night does mean there's nothing to do but that is a bad way to translate it in this context um but before that i'm going to talk about kininate for a second this might be the first time we see it in the book but you translated it like we got um uh, Kiniru or something. I don't know. Um, like to be interested in something. But I mean, I don't remember what you translate as. But kininatte, it comes from naru, to become. So it means you're getting interested in something. You're you're um obsessed with the idea of something. Kininatte, you're you're you want to know about this. Is kininatte. So kininatte tends to show when you're curious about something. Well, um, the other key was very similar, but it means um, to like something, which is slightly different. So he's not saying, do you like having food? He's saying, are you interested in what we'll be having for breakfast or what we will be doing for breakfast would be a more better way of saying it. So You are interested in what we are, what we're having for breakfast. Hi. And Shikataka Nair is describing how interested he is. How how interested is he in what we're having in for breakfast? He either way, it doesn't matter what we're going to have. Shikata Nair. That's a really good guess, but it's the opposite. So he's saying you're so interested in what you're gonna have for breakfast that there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do except be thinking breakfast, 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 breakfast. You obsess about it. Yep, that's There's what that nothing means. nothing you can do but think about breakfast. Hi. Says, Aren't Isn't you? it? Aren't and you? Khan agreed, <laughs> says what to that? Well, thinks that in any way. Shika. Mani, isn't that why the shika is there? So the shika is in shikata nai. Shika as in the only thing. Like, remember that gr grammatical structures for shika you taught me? I mean, that could be true. In general, it's shikata ga nai. So it does make me wonder what the ta is supposed to be here. Um, But perhaps you could argue it's some kind of like past tense form of shika. Um, but that does work because shika means nothing but and nine means that's that's the only thing. So that is a really interesting thing to point out. They definitely could be related. Um the ka here comes from whole. Let me see like shika. No. You can't do anything but think about what we are having for breakfast, don't you boy? Aren't you boy? <laughs> Nobody's so rude. He always speaks to him so <laughs> condescendingly. He does. He does absolutely. So you are totally right. Shikanai and shikatanai are the same thing, basically. Uh, they both mean nothing but. Um, this is just more. This is like less slurred, in a way. Right. Though it is slurred to some amount for not having the ga. So it comes. Shikataganai, shikatanai, then shikanai. So it just gets lower and lower. So you're 100% correct. Hi. And the response was, mm, totemo. Totemo is very much. Yep. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Totemo. Do you know what hitsuyo means? Hitsu is necessary. Yo is to have. It's necessary. Hi, to all means it's necessary. Um, do you know how to read this kanji? This is to to uh carry something, to Close. move something, to give mm -hmm. someone a message. You can to use it to mean that. To transfer, um, convey. Yeah, to transfer to convey definitely. Um, specifically it means to follow. Um, but the idea is that you convey your traditions to someone so they follow them, or you convey your thing you need to tell somebody. So what you're saying, they follow what you they like they understood, you know? So like they followed what you were saying. I think we say that in English. 
Trans transmission. You transmit. Yeah. I formation or tradition or way of way of life or something. Yeah. Um, the continuity of information. The but the I, thing the thing is that that is the when it's used with words, you could say that's the metaphor meaning, but in itself it means follow. Oh, oh. follow. Oh, I follow. For, certain for example, if you cry and your tear will follow the curve of your face, that will also use sao. Chao, suta. Yeah, because I didn't think you knew it. <laughs> you 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 yep. I totally Sao. did not know it. <laughs> Sao. Um. So Suta. in this context, it says hashigo satte shite orita. What does that mean? Hashigo. That's not dust. Dust was kori something. Hi. Hashigo means ladder. Ladder. Oh, mm -hmm. I followed the ladder down. Hi, exactly. So see, if you said I transferred the ladder down, that'd be incorrect. That's not what he's doing. You could argue he's transferring himself down, but the idea is that he didn't teleport down. It's very specific that he's like has a hand on the ladder as he's going down um, versus like jumping down or something like that. Like it's very specific how he's going down. So that's why follow is a little bit better, specifically in this context. While the other wording works beautifully because it, because it has that metaphor meaning with talking and passing down traditions and stuff. Um, I, can you read this word for me? Is te and it's suta u. So Perfect. Te, te, te. Perfect. So when you take hand and to follow and you combine it together, it means to help somebody. Oh. You give them a helping hand. So that also works well for that transferring meaning. You transfer your hand to another, right? You give them a hand. So the so, transfer meaning works well with whenever style is used metaphorically. You could literally ask someone the question, do you need help I, using this verb? Do you need a I hand? I would say um, style is actually more used um, from by like a not please help me, but in a I help them or you go help that person. If you're saying like help me, you'd say like, something else I think you could say you could actually say that so yes you can't you can say give me a hand with never mind please give so, me hand yep Hi. so what's the te form of this guy te form is te surate. and how do you read the word for important it's your Perfect. And what is this word over here? I didn't see this today. It rhyme with box. Hako. Hakobu. Yeah. That's the only way I remember how. <laughs> Gotta carry remember. up all the boxes. Hakobu. It rhymes with Hako, box. Hakobu. Perfect. Um, Let's go read the line from the book. Hi, it's Ne Beneto to Matie Ite Koi. Beneto ga hitsuyo na mono o kao kara hakobu no no o te tetsu u no da tetsu no da. Okay, so this, this whole thing is in a quote. So nobody is saying something about Benet. He say. He says something Go. about Bennett in the second, but the first one is to Khan. Hi. He say to Khan, eat the koi, go and come back. But he say, go to the to the village, or here is the city, it's Machi, right? Hi. So go to the city with Bennett and come back. Perfect. And then we have something about Bennett. Now he say, Bennett, he, Bennett will kau. Oh, I see here, Monty. The structure of Japanese is a sandwich with the bologna in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> that's you, a good way have, of thinking about it. You have the subject, the verb is the two flat bread. Mm -hmm. Everything else. It can be as long as you want. It could have like a bunch of stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. 
You can put like turkey, tomato lattice, whatever you want, cheese. It's all go in the middle. Yep. That's Okay, basically so here. true. Um, better way to think about it normally is it's bottom up. You start with um a one-sided sandwich, which is the verb, and everything just kind of sticks up on top of it. And Hi. sometimes you um have a different sandwich made and you throw it onto here. So like we have all this and you got another piece of bread, which is another verb that has all its topping on it. Like a double, a double stack. Double stack sandwich. <laughs> A double stack. All right, so here he say that, but net he's gonna buy the necessary things, the mono necessary, and then afterward, no, no, not that a different kara. Well, it's kau kara, not kate kara. So this ukara. Yes, it's meaning dictionary kara, form kara. Because. Yep. Ukara is because? Um, so the word from kara only occurs in two specific occasions. Occasion one, after nouns. Occasion two, after te form. All of other occasions, as in after sentences, is kara. That is why a lot of times people think dakara is a word, right? They think dakara and kara are two different things. It is not. Da is just the thing that goes at the end of sentences that don't have verbs. So it just, just means there was a sentence here. Everything's been dropped from the sentence, possibly. Then we have kara. Because kara only means because when it's after a sentence. Um, but the easiest way to, well, a clause. It's after a clause. Um, but it's easier to not do that and just be like, is it after teform? Is it after a noun? Well, these two things are not how you end sentences. You never end a sentence with teform, unless it's an order, and you never end a sentence with a noun, right? Like, for example, you wouldn't just say, yeah, uh, <laughs> house. You'd say, yeah, da, right? You'd add the Hi. da there to mark it as the end of the sentence. And same thing with teform, if you said, tabete, uh, in a period, that's not really a sentence. Like it, you say, it's a sentence if it's an order, but you wouldn't really if it's make if it's an order, it wouldn't end with because. You have to add idu, right? Tabete idu or tabete da, or something like that. So, in this specific case, because ka u end the clause, it end the clause with the action kara is the end of the sentence, and it means. Right. Because. Right. So because, because the net but will net buy. buy the necessary things. Now he say te tetsu tetsu no da. You forgot one hiragana character. Tetsu mm, u. Tetsu. Tetsu no nope. da. You're missing a hiragana character here. Tetsu. Kau? Yep. Tetsukau. 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 So this second part means that you can, you right. are going to give him a hand. Yeah. With give the transporting of it. A hand. Perfect. Yes. So. So there's two ways you can think of the no here. Um, the common way when you're first taught this is just nounification no. Um, but you could also translate this as pronoun no. If this was pronoun no, what do you think this no is a stand-in for? It's a stand-in for the hitsu namo yes. no, the Perfect. thing that is necessary. You can help with the important things with carrying it. Perfect. perfect. In other words, is the container is the pronoun for all the stuffing that goes in between the two bread. So so. Perfect. It's like the word stuffing. We don't say individually, oh, the lattice, the tomato, the cheese. We don't itemize it. We just say the stuffing. So so. Under one category. Absolutely. 
So we are now halfway through chapter five. Do you know what naduhodo means? First time we're seeing it in this book. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Naru mean naru become hodo is the limit. Yep. The level. So it become that much. Yeah. Up to. It does level. mean that. Um, it used to mean I understand now. So it has come to be that I ha I understand with the context. Naruhodo. So it it's, has become to that extent. I get it now. It's That's what almost, we say in English. Like, money, it's almost like understanding is 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 a threshold. Mm -hmm. Once you hit a critical limit, you understand as soon as you hit it. Before that, you were still under like beneath the critical point. Right. Does that make sense? Is that a way of thinking? Is it naru? It's become. Yep. Hi. Um, what's this word? Cho shoku. Hmm. Looks like cho shoku. Has the same meaning as cho shoku. Cho shaku. Hmm. So, um, cho shoku. I will show it to you. Cho shoku. The kanji look a little bit different. Oh, okay. This is something else. This is um. I mean, same meaning, but different pronunciation. <laughs> the this is Asa Gohan. Yep. Uh, Asa Meshi. Asa Meshi. Right. So the difference is that uh, Cho Shoku is what Khan says, and Asa Meshi. I'm sorry. Cho Shoku is what nobody says out loud, and Asa Meshi is what Khan tends to think. Um, well, this is this is thinking, so we're using a different vocab word than when someone's talking out loud. So, Mani, you, you know how in um, the history of the British, the English or the French aristocracy, the Norman uses the French word for all their food. <laughs> the peasant who served them uses the Anglo-Saxon. Oh, <laughs> yep, that that's, almost, that's how it works. <laughs> It's almost like nobody is using the the polite form of whatever the food is, and Khan it, it, is using that that is what they're doing. A pumpkin version of it. It's, it's not at all. But it is what it is. It's the <laughs> isn't it versus ain't it? I um, hi. Here he say naruhodo ne. I understand ya. Yar suragi te ni wa taberu mono ga nai kara. Meshi, asa meshi mo, ma da te, koto ka. Okay, okay. Let's see what he say here. He say, first he say, I understand. Um, then he say, then he thinks that at the Yatsuragi te, at the uh, Don district, uh, because this kara come at the end of nai and nai end the sentence. So it's mean because. Hi. Um, and what is nai? Hmm? Mono nai. What doesn't exist? The Hi. thing does not exist. <laughs> what kind of things? Te beru. Ta beru mono. The Thing that can be eaten. Hi. Things to so, eat. Food. Hi. So what does yasuragite mean? You accidentally translated it wrong, but I feel like you do know what it is. Uh, is don yasuragi? No. The... Oh, peaceful? Yeah, peaceful. It is the peaceful mansion, not the don palace. Um, uh, nobody man... doesn't live in a palace. Te, te. But I actually but think you said the word district earlier. Um, I call which, district. Yeah, uh, which was not either. He just lives in his mansion. But this is te, right, Moni? Yes, that te. is te. You pronounce it correctly, which means um, mansion. So he referring to the location that they're currently in right now. Yes. At in this the house, yard. there is no food, so. Therefore, so. Asa meshi mo. 
まだって。ことか。All right, let's break this down. He say, こと the entire categories of what? So the what is not defined in the sentence, but contextually we can assume it's a translation of his words. The words which is go, uh, help, Bennett, if you are hungry, is what nobody said. So Khan is translating that. That is what the koto is standing in for. Go help Bennett if you are hungry. What does that mean? That is defined as Asameshi mo mada te. Right, Mani? This yes. te is a toyu koto. Yes. Te is toyu. So this koto is defined, it's reiterated as breakfast also again. No, mm. no. It's like up to the limit of the target. You so hit the you tar think about mata. Mata means again. Mada means you wouldn't say um uh mata ita means they already said that, but mada ita means they have not said it yet. So mada means not yet. Mada means not yet. So asa Meshi mo mada. Breakfast is also not yet. Yes. Why did um Nebuti tell Khan to go help if tell Khan the previous line, which was, oh, I bet you're so hungry you can't do anything at all, right? So go help Bennett. Um go to town with Bennett and go help him buy some stuff. Why did why did Nobody say that. Hmm. He say that here because it say that Haberu mono ga nai. There is no food here at the mansions. Right. Ka, therefore, there's also no food. Exactly. There's nothing you can eat at the mansion, so that so breakfast is not ready yet. Basically, there's still some time till breakfast. So that's what he's saying. He's saying, oh, you're so hungry? Well, too bad. <laughs> we don't got no food. <laughs> no breakfast for you. Um, Khan is really good at translating people, what people mean. Um, do you know what Samui means? Samui, cold. Yep. But here, Pacific, the environment is cold. Yep. Not an <laughs> Perfect. Do you know what this kanji is? Sa, mu, i, sa, mu, i. Sa, mu, i. What is the sa form, which is basically turns this into coldness? Cold level? Sa, mu, sa. Perfect. Sa, mu, sa. Um, do you remember how to read this kanji? This means thunder, or does it mm. mean rain? It doesn't oh, it... mean thunder or rain. It shows up in the word for earthquake, which is jishin. It means to rumble or to shake. Yes. Fuet dasu. Yep. So it has a ru in there. Furu, e, ru, furu, e, ru, furu, e, dasu. Furu, e. So. Fu, dasu. Furu, e, dasu. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? Furoji. <clears throat> wa samusa ni furueta. Furoji. Furoji is like the wandering kid. Wandering is close. What is a better word than a kid that wanders around your town? Um... A homeless kid. Yes, it is a homeless child. A homeless child shaking or shook Hi. shiver because of the cold. But yep. here it's 
the extent of the cold. Yeah. So it basically means by the cold or like the reason why he's sh shivering, but he's shivering from coldness to coldness. I guess you could argue it's like the location. The locate his body <laughs> his shivering is in the location of cold, so that's why he's shivering. That's kind of hard to translate with the other ways we've done it. Do you know what unazuku means? Unazuita. So we know this is a verb. It is not an adjective. Nor is it Hi. an adverb. Zui is the negative form, right, Moni? No. Without? Unazuita. Ta. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, he is a verb. He nodded. Yes, he nodded. So, zu can mean without. That would be like zu, and it would be a comma. And I'd be like, what is the grammar of zu? Or it might be zu ni. But this was unazuita. Hi. You know what hima means? Hima is free time. Perfect. Leisure. Let's go read this example sentence. Hima ga nai no de unazuita. Since I have no time, no free time, I nodded. Perfect. Um, do you know what atatakaku means? Atatakaku naru? Atatakai. Atatakaku natta. Kaku. Hmm? Atatakaku. Atatakai is to fight, right, Moni? Mm, you're thinking about tatakai, which does sound similar. Tatakai. You have atatakai. So we have a a in front of it. So it looks like this. Atata. Atatakaku is the adverbial form of um warm. Hi. Warm. Yep. So my body warm becomes thing. warm. Perfect. Hi. Atatakai. So rather than saying atatakaku naru, you can just say atatameru, which means to warm up, right? To warm something up. So it's the same thing as um chumetai, which means cold, and hieteiru, which means to chill, to become chilled. So atatameru is just the verb form of atatakai. So to become warm, to be warm. What is the ta form, past tense form of nai? Past tense form of nai is nakata. Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. Unazuite samusa ni furu e nagara dai dokoro no danro no mae ni modotta ga karada o atatameru. Hima wa nakata. I nodded, unazuite, and while I shiver from the cold, samuisa ni ueru nagara, um, I modotta, I return. To, I return in front of the fireplace of the kitchen. Daidokoro no do, daidokoro no danro no mae ni odotta. I return. Ga, however, karada o atatameru hima wa nakata. There was no free time to warm up the body. Perfect. And contextually, it would be my body. Hi. Um, do you remember how, how to say the word discovery in Japanese? Hatsugen shita. So hatsugen is a really good guess, but um, get has like a little pause in front of it. So it does turn into um, hakken. Um, rather than Hatsugen, that's a really good guess because me can turn into gen. Um, but yeah, Hakken, but it is Hatsu. Hatsu from Hat, Hat, Hakken. Hakken, hi.
Um, so yeah. How are we going to read this word? Chu patsu. Yep. Chu patsu. So the ha just pertaining a pa because there's a glow stop in front of it. And that's just what happens to ha if you put a pause in front. That's P. P is um, putting a pause in front of ha. Um, so if I took that um, ha, pa, patsu, what did it start with? That this word? I would shu, shu. Yeah. Shupatsu. What does shupatsu mean? It's mean to um to embark. Perfect. To embark. Well, Let's go read this sentence. Doka o poketo ni sukonde. That's one clause. Hi. Supatsushita. To embark. So he, it say that uh, sukonde it's the su, 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 from ko, suku, which means to stab to stab to poke so to put to shove the coins into the pocket so i shove the coins into the pocket and i i go perfect I took... do you know how to read this word right here F? no no Oh, oh, the end, the, the finishing. So, oh, oh Perfect. Yeah. Just the oh, good job. You used to be really confused because of oh, the Um, Do you know how to read this word for flame, fire? Hono. So, hono does mean that is perfect. That is hono right there. Do, 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 do. Um, do you know what junbi means? Junbi is preparation. It is preparation. It's perfect. Um, let's go There's read. Yeah? There, there's not a word for preparation, right, Moni? There is a lot of words. I Yeah, they all it's confusing that they use different word to mean preparation. I don't know why. I, one time I saw like, is the kids ready? And they definitely use some other words. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Junbi. Um Junbi o Oeru to. Um Shupatsu shita. Okay. This talk is a um conjunction. In it immediately yeah. after. Yep. So when preparation is finished, and this is a hard when, this is like a strong if when, uh then it bark. Go. What does shita mean? It's the past form. So, so we so. went after preparation was finished. Yeah. So in that case, it just means immediately after. Because everything in the past has always happened in the past. So there's no, it's always 100% surge routine because it already happened because it was in the past. Um, but you're 100% right. If this was future tense or even habitual tense, 100% it needs to be that aggressive relationship. But past has already happened. So it's always, always going to happen. Um, do you know how to read this word? Um, this is the word for wallet. Mofu. It is. Uh, close. Mofu is blanket. Mofu. Mofu. Uh, wallet. I don't remember the word for wallet. Mofu is very close. It was saifu. So it does end with a fu right there. I because they share that bottom kanji fu fu. Saifu himo. What is a saifu himo? A saifu is a wallet. A himo is a string. Yep. So a string wallet is a saifu himo. So holdu is a u verb, and it means to put on um something like a cloak. Holdu. It is a u verb. So hotta. Holdu. What is the term form of holdu? It's an u verb, so it's whole that. Yep. Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. I mean, this example sentence line. Kuroi koto o hao machutsu shi wa. 
財布ひもを拾った。And we say ひろ、ひろ、ひろた was a Oh, he wrote that again, money. That is to put something like a cloak on. How to put it on? Well, specifically, cloak like after、um, things. So I put on the wallet. Did you put on the wallet? Interesting. Oh, he wrote that. Sorry. I thought you said how. <laughs> he wrote that、um, is to pick up something. I did not pick, put on the wallet, but the magician. The magician that is described as,、um, oh my goodness, the magician that is wearing a coat, the black coat,、Hi. he he, rota, he picks up the string wallet. Perfect. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear that right.、Uh, what's this word? Bu. And Atsui. Perfect. So, Atsui. Thick. Any idea to read this word? This is Atsui and Te. Atsui, Te. Correct. In this case, it does get Rendaku, so it turns into Atsui, Te. Otherwise, it turns into Atte, which、um, sounds too much like a b u r n So, Atsui, Te.、Um, so, Atsui, Te and Bu Atsui are very similar. They both mean thick. But atsude is specifically used for things like paper and cloth. So, kind of like a one, like that kind of idea. In the context, it's being used to describe cloth, like、um, a shirt or a blanket, something like that, or a coat. I don't remember exactly, but it's、Thanks. the thickness of like a flattish object. Hi. So, it started with atsu. What did it end with? De. Perfect.、Atsude. So, Let's go read this line. Atsude no koto o haota. Haota was the past form of to put on a coat. Hi. What kind of coat? Thick. Thick、Perfect. coat. Nice thick coat. Block you from the wind. What is the first floor? Ikai. Perfect.、Um, do you know what this word means? De kakeru. Is it? It is de kakeru, correct. It's deru plus kakeru. To, be, to, to start to exit, to start going、yeah. out.、Uh, it's used to mean like to leave your house kind of idea. No, like de kakeru. Oh, I'm going out now. Goodbye. That kind of idea. Rather than like, spatsu is like, whoop, I'm leaving now, but the kaeru is more like leaving your home kind of idea. It's kind of like the opposite of kaeru.、Um, how kaeru Monica, can mean to go home. Yeah. This kaeru here is the.、Um, it is to begin start kaeru, correct. I. But it, it,、uh, de kaeru as like a word is used to mean to like depart or be about to. It does mean to be about to leave. Like,、um, but the it normally means to be like, oh, we're gonna go out now. I'm going to the park or something like that kind of idea.、Um, but it does mean to be about to leave. But、uh, sometimes that's not a good translation in English.、Um, But, yes. It, was that the same kakeru as the the help helper verb for an action、yes. that is? Still、Or, like,、ongoing. hanashi kakeru, for example. Not ongoing. I think you're thinking about panashi, which uses hanasu, this guy, to、um, release. Kakeru, Or, like, hanashi kakeru means to start talking with somebody. Hanashi kakeru.、Um, and it is the same verb as、um, kakaru and kakeru are the same verb. The difference is one is a, one is o.、Um, they both use the same kanji. Which is this kanji? Kakaru. Do you, do, you、like、remember, a, do you remember that grammar point where the door hasn't completely c a m e off?、It's、that was still. Fun, yes. That was、um, ka, kakaru. The reason for it is that kakaru takes ga and kakeru takes o, right? There's intent. 
It is intent with kakeru. Kakaru has no intent. So hi, well, here, kakeru, I talk to someone. Real, so, real quick. It means to start. Um, so the when you're talking about the the door hanging off the edge or the rotted flowers and things like that, in English, the staying itself already insinuates the starting of the object. Well, you have to add the word away to insinuate the completion of the action. So the table is rotted is a totally different meaning than the table has rotted away, right? Totally different. And the table has rotted away. There is no table. The table is gone. It has fully 100% rotted away. So the word for rot would just insinuate it's fully rotted away. So instead we use kakeru to let us know, oh, the table's rotted. It has not rotted away, it is rotted. There is rot in this table, and it is currently rotting, because that's what that means. But it's not how we say it in English, which is confusing when translating things from one language to another because of those different embedded meanings in the vocabulary. So kakeru is used in Japanese. The opposite way the word away is used in English. Here in this context, it's a de kakeru. It yeah. means that I am about to leave, yes. but I haven't leave yet, but I'm going to leave for sure. It's already happening. You can Just do that if you want. Um, that, But th that is what it means, um, but that's not always a good way to translate it. Um, so this one right here, you can literally translate this and this would make sense. This is a saying that is logical. Um, you do tell oh. you like it's to say. Hi. I told you money. The time is described as a. That's correct. Um, what is another way you can translate to you other than the defining meaning? Uh, to say to say hi so in the time to say ah what does that mean you think in the time one says ah it's a very short time it's a very short time that's what it means and the amount I... of time it takes takes to say ah that's ah do you money so in the blink of an eye is our english saying that has that same kind of meaning because a blink is very fast saying ah is very fast so that is our Fun Japanese idiom that makes logical sense. Ah, do you money? The time it takes to say ah. Um, how do you say wallet in Japanese? Saifu. Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. This will be our last line from the day. Hi. Benetto wa atoyuma ni dekakeru junbi o o. Ore, orie, o e, o e, ore o, ha, surete, surete, ik, ikai ni, ori. Um, uh, at, at, de no, koto, koto o. はは、おるとうん。どうかをすするとと。どうした。と。え、what's the thing after to money? とと for you? No, I I mean the reading of the of the uh Oh, oh. Mm, oh, doka. I thought you said doka earlier. Weird. Or I mean the after the doka. Doka. It's to toshita. <laughs> Toshu. Yeah. Um. Same as toru, right? Toru. Um. Tosu. The difference is that tosu takes o and toru takes ga. It is the same verb again, right? Toru, which can turn into tori to mean road. Tori. So tosu means to make something go through something. Hi. Toshita. 
財布ひもをポケットにすこんでパパチスパスパチスパはい。So yeah, a lot of stuff going on in here.、Uh, um, okay. Here's our first class. Go back to the beginning. Okay, so here. ベネットはあという間に、in the time that ベネット can say あ、in a short time, ベネット he's a、uh, ore, he finished ore, he finished the separation,、uh, the preparation for leaving. Yep, so see how saying for starting to leave sounds weird in English. He finished the preparations for leaving. Makes more sense though, because he's going out soon. I the kakeru junbi o ore is finished. Um, ore o surete ikai ni ori. He follows me, ori down to the first floor. Hi. Um, so you're right. In a way, but、um, when the when the con it feels more like he takes me down than I follow down, um which is weird. Or he'll do it there, like the take me along with him. Well, what's different between Hako, Hakobu and this sure that Hakobu, but he's not picking him up and carrying him. I see. So one is to carry, and this one is to accompany. Yeah. To go along with. Mm -hmm. so, right, so the the idea is、uh, when we're using the kanji, it's the same tuite that, that we saw before, but now it's like tuite. So there's more active here. So the idea is that Bennett takes me with him, but Bennett did not pick me up and throw him over the shoulder, right? So you could I, say I Bennett makes me accompany him, right? We got an o here. He's forcing, he's he's making me do the action of accompanying. I am made to accompany Bennett. Ore o surete ikai ni ori. Um, atsu de no ko o haoru haoru to. He puts on a thick coat and he uh tots tots da. He、uh, put the money, put the coin. He put the coin in the in the cipher. That is correct. No, no. Do you have any idea how he might have put the coin in a cipher if the cipher is made out of a hemo? How could he have done this? A string. Or he is.、Uh, what is this? To 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 shita is to put it through. To、Aye. so he put the he put the the himo through the doga. Yeah. Uh, but this whole thing is describing the saifu. Yes. So he say that the saifu he, himo. He pocketo ni. Sukonde, he put into his pocket the string that was inserted into the coins. Yes, that is exactly what it says. And then he 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 depart. Yep. Ah,、uh, yep. He he put his <laughs> the coins through his wallet. His. Hemo wallet, and that is where we're going to pause. Wait, I was like, oh, who knew what time it was? Not me.、Uh, um, how do you say shiver again? Gotta shiver.、Okay. It's um, furue. Perfect, furue. Nice. Um, any 